Welcome back summoners, I am back with another video. Today I am reviewing OPGG's desktop application for League of Legends. I'm going to go over everything OPGG's app has to offer, as well as give my opinion. Do me a favor and don't dodge on this video, and if you enjoy the content, do that whole YouTube thing. The first thing that I need to mention is that this app really slowed down my gameplay. Every time I cast an ability or tried an all-in fight, I lagged hard. I'm not talking about a little lag here and there, I'm talking about I would miss minions because of this, I would lose my 1v1s. It made getting a background gameplay a pain in the ass. I had to turn down the macro necessary and play a champion like a Moo Moo for this background gameplay. Speaking of pain in the ass, let's hear about a word from our sponsor. Wait a minute. This channel doesn't have a sponsor, nor is it monetized. Never mind, back to the video. OPGG has a tier list for all of the meta champions. You can filter by role, server, rank, patch. In addition, you can see win rates and pick rates and ban rates for each of these categories. I really do like the search on the left side and how you can select a champion, and it will bring you to the champion's profile page for all of your general information. This is the only way to access the champion's profile page before pregame, so keep that in mind. You will have to navigate to champion tiers and select a champion on the left side to get all of its general information. Now on to my favorite part of the app. There is an entire page dedicated to giving champion combo demonstrations. This is for every champion and every combo OPGG deems worthy. Keep in mind, I did not check every champion for every combo because I am not an anal retentive Karen. In my Mobilitix Plus video, I got all hard for this feature, being able to see combos for champions after having to pay for Mobilitix Plus. Hey, Mobilitix. Give me free stuff. I give you guys a ton of free publicity, and a lot of people use Mobilitix because of my videos. I say, right before I dunk on Mobilitix because OPGG gives these combos away for free. OPGG giving all of its users free combos that another company charges for. I'm just saying, I still prefer Mobilitix Plus, because thanks to my referral code and every single one of you who used it, I get Mobilitix Plus for free. I apologize for going on that rant, OPGG gives a ton of free combos out there, keep that in mind, Riven mains, you are screwed, I am sorry. There are some champions that do not have combo videos, I imagine OPGG is working on this and I wouldn't take it personally if your champion isn't supported at this time. The last tab that OPGG has is their OP champions. Seems pretty fitting considering that they are OPGG. So this page has a list of champions with the highest pick rates, win rates, at bronze to diamond ranked for both solo and flex. You can once again filter by role and server. And those are the out of game tabs that OPGG has to offer. When you search a summoner in their search bar, it will take you to the summoner profile page that we all have seen before. I'm reviewing the app, not the website. So while I won't be going over what OPGG's website has, just know that you can search and find yourself on their website like a lot of other players when they use it. Let's talk about the pre-game, the during game, and the post game. Pre-game is going to scout your teammates and will give you some recently played information as well as their ranks. When you select your champion, the page will automatically switch to your champion's profile page, as we saw earlier in this video. You can also import your runes and builds, so you know what build and what your runes will be for your best winning combo. In-game, you can see your scouting report, which is pretty weak. You can see rank and recently played champions, as well as how good you are with each champion. If you want, you can shrink the app and toggle between multi-screen, champion, and in-game, and have the exact same information in a much smaller format. But I don't really see the need to do this, especially when you can't access it in-game anyway. And that is really all this app has to offer. There's not much of a scouting report, there's not much of a pre-game, there's not much of a post-game, there's not much of, well, anything else that I didn't just describe. I feel a bit short-changed here, there are no in-game overlays, there is no trainer information about how well you're doing or improving, it's really bare bones of an app in my opinion, there is so much more that these other apps have to offer, both in-game and in the apps themselves. So, in my opinion, OPGG's app falls flat, it slows down my game, causes lag, does not bring much to the table, and all around doesn't really interest me much in comparison to apps like Mobile Explorer Professor or Blitz. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with me. Have you tried this app? What do you think of it? And if you enjoy the content, then do the whole YouTuber thing. I'll see you on the next one.